Are you afraid you might be controlling in your relationship? Or is your partner telling you that you're controlling in your relationship? Here are three signs that you are controlling in your relationship. And if you don't fit these three signs, most likely you're not actually controlling in your relationship. The first sign is permission. Is your partner always having to ask you for permission while you never have to ask them? This is a pretty good indicator that you might be controlling in your relationship. However, there are certain things like boundaries for both sides and both people in the relationship that need to be held and maintained. And these are points at which permission should be asked. So if your partner's having to ask to go to the store, having to ask to have some time for themselves, to spend some money on something for themselves, and it's their own money on top of that. These are some signs that it's not a boundary, it's you being controlling. Whereas if you're, if they're having to ask to, to be out late in an unknown place and not say anything at all to you past, you know, a certain time of night that's, that's you're not comfortable with, that's more of a boundary it, for, for the guys. I know if the, if the women are wearing clothing that you're not comfortable with them wearing out there, that's a boundary. That's not necessarily you being controlling. Now, of course, it can get taken to an extreme when it comes to the clothing, but for the most part and in general, it's usually just a boundary that us men have. Wow, there's a fly. Hi, fly. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we keep it clean for a reason. They're having to ask permission for everything. It's probably you being controlling, but there are healthy permissions and boundaries that both part, both sides of the relationship have and are welcome to have, as well as the double standard of, you know, men versus women. There's some things that are just naturally a double standard. The second sign that you're controlling in the relationship has to do with passions. Are you allowing your partner to go enjoy their passions, hobbies, and interests? If not, and yet you're enjoying your passions, this is a sign that you might be controlling. I'm not talking about OnlyFans. This is something in my personal opinion is detrimental to the relationship as a whole. I'm not talking about conflicts within the relationship, passions that are gonna create these issues. I'm talking about actual hobbies and interests, cameras, cars, computers, for the ladies out there, I'm sure shopping, spas, tanning, things of that nature. And yes, guys, I said shopping. We spend hundreds on our hobbies. If the women put aside some money or y'all together put aside some money to dedicate towards a day of just going and shopping and treating yourselves, in my personal opinion, that too can count as a passion. Of course, it's, it's not quite how we normally envision a passion, but something to kind of keep in mind, guys. If you're not allowing them to enjoy their passions, and you're getting to enjoy yours, this is a sure sign that you are being controlling. Again, assuming it's not detrimental to the relationship, such as something like an OnlyFans or something that crosses your boundaries and lines or crosses their boundaries and lines. The third sign that you are controlling in a relationship has to do with space. Are you giving your partner personal space to do the things that they like to do, such as their passions and hobbies, or to simply spend time with themselves, decompressing after the workday or whatever it might be. If you're not giving them space to be on their own and enjoy their alone time, this is a sign that you are also controlling in the relationship. I know that I personally like to enjoy some time, maybe just decompressing, watching my show or playing my game. And I know that my wife likes to do the same thing. She likes to decompress on her own sometimes throughout the day. Maybe she'll be doing her skincare. Just little things that we like to do to, to de-stress and decompress. Maybe we got used to these things individually and now we're learning how to deal with these things as a couple and dealing with giving this balance of personal space and having time together as well. And when I say space, I don't mean going out late at night, 
not saying where you're going, not coming back till the AM. That is not space. That is a concern both for what may be going on in the relationship and more importantly, respect between the both of you in your relationship. Space does not mean, oh, I'm gonna go off and do whatever right now indefinitely. And it doesn't mean constant space. I am constantly gonna have space or take space. If you're constantly taking space, this is a sign there's an issue going on. And if you're not giving them the space while you're taking it all, there's a sure possibility that you are being controlling in this relationship or something else might be going on as well. Guys, when I say space, if your lady says we need to take a break, that's not the space I'm talking about. I don't mean space in the form of being single for a set period of time. I don't mean space in that way at all. That is for one, if you're not willing to give that kind of space, you're not being controlling. For two, if it is that kind of space, there's a greater issue that needs to be handled here. Hopefully you found value in these three signs that you are controlling in your relationship. If you fit all three of them, there's a strong chance you're actually controlling in the relationship. If you fit maybe one or two, just look into those areas and see if you need to work on them. And if you don't fit any of them, most likely you're not controlling at all. And you need to start looking into if your partner is actually the one that's being controlling and trying to tell you that you're being controlling. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.